Welcome to our 20th episode of Jeunesse Longevity TV and the fifth episode of Healthy Lifestyle. My name is William Amzalag and I am Generation Young. In many cultures, people eat at home and therefore they can eat in a controlled environment. But in our modern world, most of the meals are prepared by other people. In this episode, I will show you how to take control of your eating habits at work when eating out how decoding restaurant menus and making healthy requests. Today, many people eat out at the restaurant, at the office, while flying or at other per people's home. It has become part of our lifestyle. And here are the facts. If you eat out often, this will have a large impact on your dietary intake when someone else is preparing your food and you don't know what is in it your health can be at the mercy of the chef's culinary practices so how to stay healthy while going to restaurant at the restaurant, there are seven rules to follow. First, if you know that you will be going for dinner, eat a light lunch. Second, skip any restaurant that offers buffet or all you can eat options. If you cannot avoid the buffet, decide ahead of time what and how much you will eat and stick by your decision. Third, read carefully the menu. Rule out anything described as crusted, crispy, which usually means fried. Don't hesitate to ask your server and make healthy requests. Ask him specific question as how a dish is prepared and what it contains. Don't be shy about making requests. Ask your server to remove the bread or ship's basket from the table so that you will not overeat before your meal arrives. Four, starting with a salad or a soup will help. Ask for low-fat dressing on site and skip the croton. Five, when possible, choose main dishes which include lots of vegetables. If the main dish seems too large, share it with your dining companion or eat half and take the other half at home. Six, stick with water or tea or other beverage without added sugar. Be careful about alcohol because it may relax you to a point that you may eat far more than you should. If you do choose an alcoholic beverage, prefer red wine and don't start drinking before starting eating. In general, look for something baked, broiled, grilled, poached, roasted, or the best steamed. Seven. Stick with dessert that are fresh foods, fresh fruits or sorbet. One of the things, eating at work. Research shows that we tend to eat more food if it's readily available or when there is a greater variety of ch to choose for or when we have easy access to it. So when a tray of cookies is sitting 
on the conference room during a meeting or a bowl of candy is always filled, it can be very difficult to resist. The ideal solution will be to involve your entire office to replace unhealthy snack options with healthier one, such as a bowl of fresh foods or fruit salad or platter of raw vegetables. If you find it tempting to join in when you see other eating junk food at work, bring a health lunch and leave the office for a brisk walk whenever it's possible and then eat your prepared meal outside. Now, something quite interesting. How controlling your eating when socializing? Do you know that people sitting at a table with us can influence our eating patterns often without realizing it. This is called social facilitation effect. And it means that the presence of other people at the table is likely to make you eat and drink more than if you were dining alone. Fortunately, it is possible to have a good time without overeating. If you get into the right mindset ahead of time, once you are there, start with low calorie food as vegetable or soup. Consciously eat slowly, chew, chew, chewing, chewing and chewing. Make an effort to eat more slowly than everyone else at the table. Our food and pause periodically to feel how satisfied you are. If they are pushing too much, tell people about your decision to eat healthy food and ask them to support your efforts. Even among close friends or family members, you may find sabotage, which means a friend will push hard to have another piece of pizza or brings you a box of chocolate to cheer you up and in the end, it up to you, it's up to you to handle it. There is no need to choose between spending time with others and eating healthfully. With some effort, you can turn dangerous temptation into valuable source of support. To wrap up, one, plan ahead and take charge of your eating habit at work by bringing your own meal and snacks. Second, develop a personal food policy for dining out by deciding what and how much you will eat and drink and stick with it. Third, stick with reasonable size portion and take the rest at home or share a meal. Four, learn how to read a menu by looking for keywords. Five, as ask your server the right question about ingredient and preparation techniques and request small healthy substitution. Six, take steps to control your food and beverage intake at social events. And finally, seven, turn saboteur into allies by asking for their help. My name is William Amzalag and I am Generation Young. See you at our next episode. Bye-bye.